Absolute Wealth. Real investors, real results. Hey everybody, this is John Carter from Absolute Wealth. Let's take a look at the markets. And what we've got here is just a kind of an overall momentum wave. Of course, the squeeze, these are just uh, momentum, uh, short, medium, and longer term momentum, which on the bottom means upside pressure, and on the top means downside pressure. And we're looking at the S&Ps here. It's been a very quiet week. We're heading into a three-day weekend. Typically means you're going to get very, very low volume, which we've seen. Uh, then the question is, is where do we go from here? Um, I I do like this as a potential intermediate term high, meaning a high that could be in place for six to eight weeks. Uh, we do have on Friday a meeting in Jackson Hole, Wyoming with Bernanke and everybody, and that could bring some news that causes us to pop up and kind of retest those highs. But at this point, I do like having uh, November SPY puts in place in place to hold through September and October just in case there's some pretty decent sized crash. Um, a stop on this, I'm looking at 1460 on the S&P, so I'm willing to give it some room here, but I just want to have that exposure because if the markets crash, it's, you know, when it, once it happens, it's too late to kind of do anything. If we take a look at a key stock here, Apple, um, Apple very, very strong, had that nice gap up on the lawsuits, pulling back. I'm looking for it to kind of start grinding its way to $700. Looking at other markets here, the gold gold market here fairly strong. We popped up, we're trading sideways. Any pullback here to that 160.30 level on GLD to me is a buying opportunity. And then right now we got the hurricane coming up, which is putting upside pressure on oil and oil stocks. You can see here USO, the oil ETF pushing its way higher. And in general, um, most oil companies here kind of have a little bit of an upside kicker as well. I actually like Exxon Mobil here. The stock acts great. Plus, you've got a bullish setup here looking for that to try to pop higher. And for oil rigs, uh, Transocean, which of course had all that pressure, been under pressure for a while, trying to work its way up. This one I'm not too fond of. You can see upward momentum plus a squeeze setting up and see if that one can push up as well. Um, taking a look at silver. This has been a very strong market here as well. We come up, we've traded sideways, very bullish market, very, very bullish behavior and looking for that to grind higher. So what's causing the metals here to pop up? Well, the kind of persistent idea and rumors that it's like, wow, we're going to do more quantitative easing. Well, that's pushed the U.S. dollar down. And as long as those, um, you know, come to pass, then what's going to happen is the dollar is going to continue to be under pressure, and that's going to put upside pressure on the metals. Okay, and of course, it's going to also put upside pressure on the euro, as represented by the FXE here. Okay, so at this point, uh, that's kind of what I'm looking for. Uh, stocks here to be choppy. Uh, remember, we've got that Friday coming up uh, with. Uh, Jackson Hole Wyoming meeting so anything could happen there but in general I am looking for stocks you know they may have one last kind of a push higher but I'm looking for stocks to start working their way lower in September and October barring some big announcement uh, from the government that they're going to step in and try to really prop this thing up um, looking for the dollar index to work its way lower and push metals higher okay hope that helps you guys have a great rest of the day and we'll see you at the next update